Now let us have a look at our last example. In our last example, which involves back, so a ship and sailing vessel, they often carry lead ballast, uh, where the form might be in the form of brick. The usage is to keep the ship oriented because when ship is placed submerged into water, and the it has a tendency to um, to just lose at bal lose its balance if uh, it doesn't submerge properly. So the lead being heavy, it has this tendency to keep it upright in the water. So suppose there is a ship that has a cargo and its crew uh, uh, that carries 0 0.5 meter cubic of lead ballast and into water which the depth is 2 km. And so the first question calculate the change in pressure. Calculate the change in pressure at that particular depth. Calculate the change in volume. Delta V upon reaching the bottom, and given that the sea density is 1.025 times 10 to the power of 3, and the mark modulus of lead itself is given to be 4.2 and 10 to the power of 10 pascal. Therefore, in order for us to arrive to the terms delta V over here, we need this first change in pressure. For the change in pressure, we need to go and uh, determine by using what we have learned in the school change in pressure due to water delta uh, rho vg and we will find that volume is the same as given earlier 0 0.5 part modulus is also given and what's missing in our calculation in order for us to arrive with delta v and that is to first identify delta pressure and the pressure, therefore, we are going to play around with the density of water. Now, pressure is originates due to the weight of water. Weight of water column. We are going to assume that the area that it comes contact, the area of the water it comes contact is 1 meter times 1 meter of area. So, it's almost... Hold on. This is 1 meter and this is 4 kilometer in depth, 2 kilometer in depth. And therefore, uh, we find that rho g h, okay, we have few versions, we could be using rho g h to arrive with the product of delta p or we could be even using weight and divide with the area. Force of area weak is the force, and then to be substituted into force of area. So we have two options over here either rho gh or rho v times z. So by right, we will arrive with this answer 2.01 times 10 to the power of 7 pascal. Now that we have this, then only we can proceed for the next question asking what is our delta v. And this is going to be substituted as delta pressure. Now, you will have noticed that in the expression itself, a little bit different because the expression for bulk more or less related to volume, it has negative. This is the case because we have to compensate the situation uh, that when it undergoes changes of pressure that is positive in volume, why? Because it goes deeper into the uh, water. So therefore, the amount or the change of pressure is positive in manner. Be getting bigger and bigger. So, you will find that the negative here is actually decrease in volume. Decrease in volume. So that's all. Proceed with exercise 9.19. Or your own benefit so eventually this topic 
it's really great because it talks about the developments of materials especially if you are talking about building for example uh, they discuss a little bit extended in terms of construction in terms of building uh, how we can improve stability and also supports how much compression that it can undergo with the previous ships in history uh, to be a conclusion from what we have seen earlier we would have find that the terms formation governed by the property that stresses proportional to the strain we have three types of deformations length shapes and finally volume and I might need to again look at the situations of shapes because it's the one that a little bit different was an area need to be parallel <coughs> and the area this is the area how about X and H so you find that delta X is the one parallel with force while the H is perpendicular to the force in the case of yang or leg force and leg are parallel but area is perpendicular that's all thank you very much